The ultrasound images told the story. Little Donovan Turner had a rare birth defect, and if something wasn't done, it was unlikely that Brindisiana Turner's firstborn baby would survive his birth. Had he been uh, born through a vaginal delivery in a traditional non-cesarean way, um, he probably wouldn't be around today. I know he wouldn't be around today. Because uh, his jaw is so small, uh, we were concerned that uh, he would have a lot of difficulty with breathing. To save his life, Donovan would need a breathing tube as soon as possible after he entered the world. Based on what we saw in the ultrasound and, and what uh, Dr. Briette and I thought uh, with the exit procedure was most indicated uh, to give Donovan the best chance of survival. Exit, which stands for extrauterine intrapartum treatment, allows doctors to perform surgery while a baby is still in the womb, receiving oxygen through the umbilical cord and placenta. A team of 50 LSU doctors and nurses assembled in a large LSU operating room to perform the unique surgery. In a normal C-section, you just deliver the whole baby, you clamp the cord, and you hand off the baby. But in this case, we don't want to do that because we don't know if it can breathe. So we just deliver part of the baby. We deliver the head and the neck. And at that point, Dr. Ghali and his team did the surgery to establish the airway. Only about 200 such procedures have been performed around the country in the last decade. This was Dr. Ghali's third. Donovan's family was thankful that the doctors at LSU found the problem and the way to fix it. What do you think, Mama Z's success story? Yeah, I think so too. I think it's a pretty big success story. His grandmother, Brenda, thinks it's even more than that. It's a miracle. 